Alright, I'm back with another script tutorial and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom tab list without any add-ons for script and keep in mind this is a simple tutorial. I'm not going to go too much in depth but I'll cover the most important things that you need to know in order to make a tab list. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, I have a new file here in Adam and the first thing I'm going to write is options. So we're going to set up some options to actually define what text is going to be in our tab list. I'm going to use two options. One is going to be called header and one is footer. So the header is the text that's going to be above the player's names in the tab list and the footer is the text that's going to be underneath the player's names. So I'm just going to write something like um, in gray and bold, welcome to the server. You can write whatever you want, of course. Then I'm going to use this thing. It stands for new line and that will actually allow you to make another line in the header. So um, you can also write new line like this, but I prefer to write just NL. Then we're going to do online players in gray and I'm going to use a variable here which I'm just going to call online and I'm going to define that later and let's just add another new line to make it look better and here in the footer I'm going to start with a new line just because I end it with a new line up here so it just looks better if there's a space between the names and we're going to do something like green and bold you can do slash discord for example so you let people know that you actually have a discord command and we could do another new line and then we could maybe define the server's ip so let's say your server is going to be named epic server <laughs> and if you were on minehut it would of course be dot minehut dot gg and that's pretty much it now we've defined all the text that's going to be in the tab list now let's actually make the script that puts all this text in your tab list. I'm going to write every second loop all players. And keep in mind that when you loop all players every second, it might uh, lag your server a little bit. So if your server is laggy, um, test out if this is the cause. But this is just the easiest way to do what I'm trying to do right now. Then we're going to do set loop players tab list header to and then we're going to use our option up here with by using some uh, curly brackets and an add in front and header oh i forgot you have to put this in quotation marks as well the next line is pretty much the same we can actually copy this and just replace this with you guessed it footer wow and of course Replace it here as well. Now in your options, you can of course name this whatever you want. You just have to make sure that this and this is the same. Then you can pretty much end it here with a stop if you want it. But I'm real quick going to show you how to make the online thingy. So that's really simple. It's just one line set on line to number of all players. And that's all of it. So we just define the variable and it's going to use it up here. So let's test it out in game. So now I'm on my Minehot server and I'm going to click file manager, plugins, script, scripts. We're going to make a new script called, I don't know, tab.sk. And let's find it down here. There we go. And we're going to paste our script in here. Click save. And now once you're back on your server, you just do slash sk reload tab. And there we go. When I click the tab list, look at that. It's everything we wanted. It shows the online players and the Discord command and the server's name or whatever, the IP. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did not, make sure to join my Discord server and let me know there. Just flame me in the chat. No, I'm kidding. I don't actually do that. I'll be very sad if you do that. But anyway, that's all I have for you. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.